Hey everyone, so if you're seeing this right now, it's because this recording actually worked. What I mean by that is I've been dying to get out of the home office to record some videos and what better place to do it than in Hawaii. So the next part of the build on my Intel NUC is actually putting an F5 distributed cloud customer edge on it, which should be fun. So first let's go and download the image itself. It's on cloud.f5.com. Go under VMware images and you should be able to kick off a download of the OVA file. That'll take a few minutes so we can go and do some other work in the meantime. Let's log into the F5 distributed cloud console. From here, we'll go into cloud and edge sites and we wanna go under manage and site management. And from here, we actually wanna go get a site token. So I'm gonna generate one now and we'll need this for standing up the customer edge. Now with the OVA download, done I can actually go kick off the CE build inside of my VMware. Now since we're building this off of an OVA file the VM options for this are pretty straightforward. Now for the data store I'm going to throw this on my internal NVMe drive that I had installed on this Intel NUC which is super fast and I can thin provision the disk. Then whatever network you're on you're going to want to make sure that you have a static IP address available and that this IP address has access out to the internet. And then under additional options here, I'm actually gonna go and insert my site token here and also give my cluster a name. And then I'm gonna turn off DHCP by changing this parameter to no, and then put in my static IP addressing information. You also need to have your geo coordinates available as well. So go grab your latitude longitude from something like Google Maps. And then we're going to go ahead and complete the setup and it's gonna start building out the VM. Once that VM is done building, as long as it has internet access, it's gonna go out and it's gonna call home to the F5 distributed cloud. Now, when we open up the distributed cloud console, we should be able to head over into the site register registrations and we should see the site that we just brought up actually listed as one of the pending registrations. We'll go ahead and click the check mark and we should be displayed some info. The only thing that we want to specify here is down at the site to site properties. We want to just specify IPsec or SSL and then go ahead and click save and exit. Now if I go over to the site list, I should see this site listed there and it should be in a provisioning state. It'll eventually go from provisioning to upgrading and I like to check out the site status and then I can see the tunnels as they come up. And if I go back over to the site list, I'll see this eventually give me a green healthy status. One thing I wanna do is give this site a label. We need that for later on. So I'm gonna go into manage configuration under the labels. I will go ahead and select a label called ves.io slash site name. And I'm gonna give it this value here and we're gonna use that later on. All right, now as a quick test, I wanna spin up a virtual case environment, which I think is a cool demo because you can see that you can run a full production grade Kubernetes environment at your site within a couple minutes, totally cloud managed. So from the main menu of distributed cloud, I wanna go into distributed apps. From here, I'm gonna click on virtual case. Nothing exists yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and click to add one. So here I just need a name and then I'm gonna create a virtual site. So I'll name that site, specify that it's a CE, but I'll also need to specify that label that we had applied to the CE earlier. After that, I click on save and exit and it's gonna start building up the virtual Kates cluster and it should only take a couple minutes from here. Now I can go into the virtual Kates and then I can look under the workloads and there shouldn't be anything here yet, so we'll go ahead and click to add one. Here we'll just need a name, I'll need to specify this as a service, and then we're gonna go ahead and configure the service. In here I can specify the container, and so I just need a name for the container, I need a name for the container itself, the image itself, and this, this one's on a public registry, so I don't need to do anything, but if it was on a private registry, I would have had to actually create some credentials in order to get access to that private registry. After that, I wanna deploy this on my virtual site, and I wanna specify that I wanna advertise this on the internet. It's gonna ask me a little bit of information on the ports. I want 443 on the outside, and to the container itself, I need port 80. Now I'm gonna give it a host name. There's already a DNS domain that is configured for this tenant. We have Let's Encrypt available to us, so I can add automatic certificates to this. And that's about it. The application should be up at the host name that I specified, ready to go. So I'm happy that I was able to share this part of my lab build. My lab is back at home, but you can just think now that you can actually have compute that's cloud managed, virtual Kubernetes, security services on compute that resides here on a tropical island, but totally cloud managed. Pretty awesome, right? 
So I hope you've enjoyed following along. Click like if you enjoyed this video. Click subscribe if you want to see more. And otherwise, we will see you next time.